Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial on PeachPy Compiler. This time around we're actually going to be showing you something quite interesting uh, and that is how to run WordPress on .NET which is actually our first very big milestone. First, let's recap a little bit what PeachPy is and why it can be useful. PeachPy is our open source project that provides the compilation of PHP to .NET which implies many interesting and useful features. Before we can begin, there are a few prerequisites. We need .NET Core 1.0, optionally Visual Studio Code and the corresponding PeachPy extension, and we also need WordPress. On our repository, we actually prepared an entire solution of WordPress on .NET. You can either download the zip or open the sample directly on your PC using the GitHub desktop application. We already have it downloaded, so let's just open WordPress in VS Code, and here you can see the entire project. There are about five minor modifications of the standard version of WordPress for functions that PHP currently doesn't support yet. Here you can see the Kestrel web server that runs on Apache, ASP.NET, ASP.NET Core, IIS, so basically just everywhere. And here we can see the entire code of WordPress, as well as the .NET project JSON, where we added a specification that the compiler name should be PHP. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at our MySQL database that WordPress requires. Because we are on a development computer, we don't really want to install MySQL directly, so we will run it using Docker. We simply use this command that starts up our database in a virtualized environment on the standard port 3306. Once we hit enter, we immediately have a MySQL database running on our computer. As you can see, every project has some dependencies. So before we first launch, we first need to download all these dependencies. This is done with the command .NET restore, which we type in the terminal. And now watch .NET work its magic. The second step is to compile and run the entire project. Because website has its own project JSON saying that we're going to compile it, and the web server also has a project JSON file stating one of the dependencies is this website, all we have to do is press F5, click the green arrow in VS Code, or type .NET run in the terminal. As you can see, website is currently being compiled with PeachPy compiler. At this point, the entire project is being parsed and analyzed, tons of data is being generated, and a DLL file is created with our compiled website. As you can see, there's a new bin folder now with a file called website.dll, which contains our whole compiled project. Our web server is already running on port 5004 thanks to our application, so let's type this address into our browser. The first thing WordPress prompts us to do is to create our admin account and install the application. So let's fill out this information. So I'll call the site my.net core site. The username will be the default admin. And then the email can be mail at mail.mail or whatever. And here we are, the classic WordPress dashboard. Only that it's running on .NET. Let's make it orange because PeachPy, obviously. And now we can click through our site. Everything works exactly like it does in PHP, with the key difference that we're running this in a .NET environment. There really is no PHP. Everything is compiled. Let's add a breakpoint here. And now you can see that we can nicely step through the code just as you are used to in .NET. We can, for example, perform stepping into, stepping through, or stepping out of the code. We can also use the debugging tools in VS Code and so on. Here you can watch your local variables, inspect or modify their values, check the current call stack, and all of this in real time while you're stepping through the code. And in addition, you can have the code break on an exception. 
Notice that there is absolutely no PHP running here. If we were to open the terminal, you can see there's no PHP, but .NET is running instead. So if we were to run a few requests to our .NET site, notice how our CPU is increasing because we're working with .NET EXE. Our memory consumption is significantly higher because we're running this in debug mode. VS Code is conducting tons of diagnostics in the background, which obviously wouldn't happen in a production setting, so the consumption would be considerably lower. And there you go, it really was that easy to run WordPress on .NET. In our WordPress site, we can do everything that you could in the standard version. However, keep in mind that PeachPy is still in version 0.5.0, so some functionalities are not yet supported. Take a look at our roadmap to see exactly which constructs we have yet to implement. Now it's up to each and every one of you to try it out. For more information, go to our GitHub repository where you can see more details. Be sure to follow our progress there and on Twitter or Facebook. Thanks very much for listening and happy compiling!